Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So, a very exciting day. The brand new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer 2 has been released. It was aired today with the US Super Bowl and it's just come out. I'll put a link to it down below if you want to go and check it out for yourselves. I just thought I'd let you know my reaction to it. Um, I'm going to try and be as positive as I can in this video because there's a lot of cool stuff in here, but my gut feeling is a little bit mixed. Um, and I don't know, I'm trying to work out exactly why that is, but I think it's because for me it doesn't feel Jurassic Park enough. And, that, and that's a very simple thing. But I'm going to try and be really positive about everything I see in this video, so um, do bear with me. Okay, so we start off in this very sort of Spielbergian scene uh, where we see the little girl, I think her name used to be Lucy, but I'm not sure what her name is now. Um, but she's basically being stalked by the Indoraptor. And this feels like Hook when Hook comes back and kidnaps Peter Pan's kids. And also you've got this nod here with the raptor shadow, an obvious nod to Jurassic Park. And here we've got the obvious nod to the Velociraptors in the kitchen with the, with the claw tapping. Very nice nods. The only thing I'd say is the scenery and the fact that it's this new uh, fleshy dinosaur. I don't really feel Jurassic Park when I'm watching this. I know it's trying to evoke those feelings, but I just don't. And also this hand reaching out towards her. Um, I feel like it's implied that actually this thing has human DNA because it's reaching out with like a hand. And that just feels very, very alien to me. But it's a very cool opening. It's got some very nice nods to Jurassic Park. And actually the soundtrack of this part is really, really incredible. I have to say, and, and in fact, the, the soundtrack all the way through is brilliant. Um, so here we've got this uh, backstory with Owen and Blue that we learned about in the last trailer. And uh, yeah, very cute looking Blue there. Personally, I don't have much of a connection with Blue. Um, I prefer the old style fear uh, factor wild raptors uh, but there you go it's going to be an obligatory part of, of Jurassic World 2. Got the nice shots of the volcano going off and the music here is really evocative. I like this shot here of the Chinook carrying the dinosaur reminds me of the Lost World. Very very cool. And we get this nice shot here of the foot of the Brachiosaurus so we've already seen this footage in trailer 1 but it's nice to go back to it again. And for those who are fans of uh, Jurassic World, you can see we've got broken chunks of amber, which uh, ties in with the events at the end of Jurassic World. The Brachiosaurus does look more like the Papo Brachiosaurus, I have to agree with uh, some Twitter comments that I've seen. Um, but here we've got this really cool scene with the Baryonyx, we're getting more footage here. And there's one shot in particular I really love, where the Baryonyx is backlit by dripping lava it's coming up now and the the sound of the baryonyx and just the the combination of the visuals here this that is just incredible direction by jay Bayona. that's just that's probably my favorite shot of the whole trailer absolutely gorgeous stuff and i do really like this i love the fact we're introducing a new dinosaur and I know some people have said they've been put off by um, Justice Smith's reaction there, his scream. But actually, I kind of feel like I'm in the moment, and, and that's kind of cool. Um, again, we've got Blue and Owen. I don't really care much for their relationship. I have to be brutally honest, but I know a lot of people do, and there's going to be a lot of people who want to know what's going on with them. So, yeah, fair enough. It's got to be in there. And then we've got the dinosaurs running away from the pyroclastic flow. I think we've got a few more shots here from... Uh, from the last trailer. And then we've got this shot here of Owen and Claire separated by a pane of glass, a metaphor for their relationship in this film. <laughs> and then we've got this operation going on with Blue. So Blue obviously gets injured or has something life-threatening wrong with her. And uh, again, it, it's trying to strengthen that relationship with Blue. And maybe that's what this needs because I really don't have much interest in Blue. So now we dip into this corporate side uh, on the mainland, I assume, and um, we get a feel for what's going on um, with an Indoraptor being displayed to basically like an auction house. Um, so whatever's going on on the mainland, maybe at the manor, uh, they are actually showing off an Indoraptor to be auctioned off. We've got this shot here of Claire running into the sea. Oh, and this amazing shot here of the T-Rex waking up. I think the CG needs work there, but that looks really cool. I love the idea of the T-Rex waking up and trying to snap at Owen. 
because that's what we need. We need more of that lethal T-Rex. So here we're back at this auction room that I was mentioning and uh, the Indoraptor is uh, shown to the auctioneers, I'm assuming, or the, the audience here and they're all agape. For me, this doesn't feel very much like uh, like a Jurassic Park film at this stage. And even this bedroom with the with the dinosaur in it, it, it feels strange to me. But I suppose it's, it's a little bit tying in with the Lost World when the T-Rex comes onto the mainland. Um, Owen's looking absolutely frightened here. And it's funny because I remember a time when the raptors were that frightening. And, and now look, the raptors is his buddy. So for me, this is a little strange and a little alien to the Jurassic Park franchise. But um, hey, there you go. Some cool shots here. So we've got the uh, T-Rex roaring in the rain at night. We've got this guy about to be trampled on by the stampede. More shots of the Indominus uh, Raptor, the Indoraptor. And then there you can see a Pteranodon picking up a guy, one of the guards at the manor by the looks of it. So they obviously break out. And then uh, at the end here, we've got this shot where this guard is whisked away by the uh, Indoraptor. For me, this felt a little bit cheesy, this last shot, but, um, you know, there we go. And that is the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer. So, yeah, I do have quite a few problems with this trailer, to be honest. I'm trying to be as positive as I can about it, um, but there are things um, I would change. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Did you enjoy the trailer? It's coming out June 22nd. Looking forward to seeing this film. Um, I have low expectations based on this trailer, so hopefully I'll really enjoy it. Let's wait and see. Okay, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.